Welcome to day nine on our 31 days engaged singles love challenge. Let's take a look at the quote of the day. The availability of wealth is not an indication that a marriage will work. The scarcity of resources is not the end of a home either. How you manage the family resources and the unity of art is what matters because money plays an important role in marriage. Many of us have assumed that uh, availability of wealth equals a happy home. But I've had the opportunity to talk to people who are wealthy, people who have everything virtually available to them when they need it and how they need it. Now, I've come to discover that despite the wealth, despite the fat bank account, many of them still have critical issues about their own. We also have another school of thought that believes that the lack of resources in a home equals failure of such homes. But I've come to discover that either wealth or scarcity does not equal success or to failure in a home. Let me say it point blank. Money can make love sweeter when you know how to use it to your advantage. But if you don't know how to use money to your advantage, uh, the availability of money can also affect the union of the two of you. Instead of the two of you seeking for how to welfare each other, one of the partners might believe that money is what the other person needs. For instance, I remember this family, they are very, very wealthy. But the man believes that what the woman needs to be fine is just money. So virtually every two years, the man is changing cars, but the woman is at home lonely. The husband comes back home, brings the office home, and then does not have time for the wife. Now, that there is money, that there are cars in the garage, uh, there are properties all around, you can jet out of the country for vacation anywhere you want, does not mean that marriage will succeed. And also, that there is meager resources available in the home does not mean the marriage will not work. It all boils down to the state of art of the man and the woman who makes the home. I have seen families where the man and the woman don't make that much, but the two of them have mastered the three principles of money management in any family. And what are the three principles of money management? The first one is how do you make money into the family? Number two is how do you manage the money that you have brought into the family? And number three is how do you multiply the money? Show me any family that will not have issues with money in their marriage and I will show you a family where the man and the woman have mastered the three principles of money. We have so many people out there who rakes in a huge amount of money into their family account every month but have not mastered the aspect of management and multiplying. If you make a million naira into your family every month, but you don't know how to manage it, you and your wife, instead of cutting costs, you decide to live a glamorous life. You are, instead of eating at home, you decide to eat out every now and then. I'm not saying don't eat out. I and my family eat out. But when you make it a tradition, instead of cooking at home, you have made it a perpetual behavior, eating out. It's going to eat into the family budget. Are you with me? There are some things that you can cut, uh, cut down on, but because you, you think you are making huge money into the family, and you believe, okay, before we finish spending this, another salary will come. Now, if you have not mastered the act of money management, you will just notice that the way money comes into the family is the same way money lives and goes out of the family. But there is another family, they know how to make money, they know how to manage money, they know how to cut costs, they know how to do their budgeting, they know how to focus their needs and not their wants, and then they know how to multiply money. So after making money into the family, they cut down costs, then they know how to use part of their savings in investing, in starting a small business so that they now have two, three streams of income bringing money into the family. That is how to manage money in marriage. But for you to be able to do these three, you need the unity of art and purpose. The two of you, the man and the woman, must come to a state where you are no longer thinking about my money, my car, my house. It is now our money, our house, and our car. The unity of art is what makes money management easier in marriage. 
when the two of you are still thinking about everything is independent, I'm independent of my partner, I can spend, I can make money and spend it the way I choose, I tell you that family, they will make money, but it's a matter of time, things will not work out well. Because the unity of art needed uh, to run with the same vision is not available. So I put it to you, are you working towards a united financial front in your marriage? Or you are working towards spending money uh, individually, spending it the way it comes. So what's the action point for the day? The action point for today is to take out time with your partner to talk about, okay, how do we want to make money in our home? How do we want to manage money in our home? And how do we want to multiply money in our home? Money management is important in utilizing uh, available resources uh, for the good of the home. These are part of the things we'll be learning at the Engage Singles Retreat come 2nd to 3rd of June 2023 at Elijah Resort and Hotels in Badon. Uh, do well to register. Registration is just 15000 for you and your partner. Uh, the details about the registration, the phone numbers to call, and the account details are on the screen right now.